Hi, second and third graders. This week in library class, last week we um, ended with a pretest for our research skills, and this week we're actually going to start the research process. So you will be getting a packet that is a template for us to use to guide us through the research process. Your template should look like this where at the top it has a line for you to write down the title of your research project and at the bottom of that first cover page you can put your name on that bottom line. So what you're going to be doing today, second graders, your research projects are going to be on what on the life cycles of plants and animals. So you are going to either choose plant life cycle or animal life cycle as your topic, but then you're going to actually choose a specific plant or animal to add additional information. You're going to just research life cycles in general, but then at the end of our research we're also going to choose a specific plant or animal to um, specifically talk about their unique life cycle. So at the top for the title for second graders you are going to put plant life cycle or animal life cycle with a colon and then you can um, figure out what specific plant or animal you're going to be researching and that will be your task to do today. Third graders you are going to be researching um, a famous person. You're going to be doing a biography on somebody. So it could be somebody from history. The biography biography section in our library is in the nonfiction section and the numbers start at 920. So 920 is our biography section. So I would um, consider have you consider checking out some books over in that section to see if there's any interest for you to look at some biographies that are already done on some famous people. You could also also do um, a famous person that maybe doesn't have anything to do with our history. So it could be even a current per famous person, but it has to be somebody that is doing something positive for the world. Okay, so go ahead and fill in your very first page on your primary research template. And if we need to, we can push pause on the video here for the students so that they have time to do that. Okay, now on the second page, you are starting with step one. What am I supposed to do? Um, at the top of the page, go ahead and put your teacher's name. So put um, just Mrs. and your teacher's last name, and you can again put your name again on the name line. And then this is step one. Step one of the research process is making a plan for what you are supposed to accomplish by the end of your research. For our case, most of the time when we do research, after we get done learning about our topic, we have to tell other people what we learned about. So we are going to be giving presentations. Second graders, you are going to be using Google Slides to create a slideshow presentation. Third graders, you are going to be creating a Prezi, which is um, a similar presentation, but it has some unique features to it. So second graders, Google Slides presentation, third graders, Prezies. And it says, by the end of this project, I will be able to. So our goal is for you to be able to present to other people what you've learned. So by the end of this project, I will be able to present my topic to others in the form of a Google Slides presentation or in the form of a Prezi. Okay, so that is going to be our step one. Our plan is going to be to be able to present our information um, in a multimedia format. Now, the other thing that we need to do in the planning stage is we need to brainstorm some ideas of where we could look for information. So I'm going to let you guys go ahead and do that with Ms. Gorder here today. So brainstorm, what are some places in the library or online that you could go to to find some good information? So you're going to go ahead and do that so you can make a plan so that the rest of today, as you're looking for information on your topic, you know where to go to do that, okay? Now, on the next page of our template, it is a KWL chart. You guys should know what a KWL chart is, but it's the K stands for what I already know about my topic. 
The W stands for what I want to know. Sometimes the want to know section, you formulate some questions, some questions that you have about your topic that you are going to find the answers to. So sometimes you might want to, in the want to know section, write those as questions. It's kind of like that research question. Okay, and then the last last section in that KWL chart, you're going to leave blank for now. It's for later when you have jotted down some notes about your topic. It's what I learned. What have I already learned now that I've gone through some research? Okay, so you're going to go through today also, and you're going to do the what I know and what I want to know about my topic. And that's as far as I want you to get today. And then if we have, if you have a little time, I want you to start browsing the library and the internet to find some um, resources to use. I do want to point out on the elementary library homepage, if you want to get some background information about your topic today, the one place I would have you start looking at is this Britannica Online School Edition. It's our online encyclopedia. So encyclopedia is a great place to start when you're researching to get some good information about your topic that we know is a credible source. So go ahead and if you have time, get logged into your computer and go to Britannica Online School Edition and do a search for your topic. And I will see you next week and good luck.